Hi everyone, Chastity here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while. I had some big changes I did. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about that. I'm here with baby Eli. Um, and he is my Laura by Bonnie Brown, um, painted and rooted by myself. Um, so I thought I would come on and do a change. And somebody asked me if I had any videos on hair care. And I really don't. I think I've talked a little bit about it in videos. Um, but I thought maybe I will talk a little bit about it. Um, you know, here, how to care for rooted hair. One thing you'll see is he is on saran wrap. And I do lay all the rooted babies on it. It just keeps the hair in place. Like even when I ship them, I always wrap their heads because the saran wrap does keep the hair in place and um, doesn't cause rubbing. So um, that is something I do with all of them. So one thing I try not to do is pull a lot of clothes over the heads. Um, is another thing so I'm taking off these I had these little booties on I just put this on him last night but um, since I'm doing a video I figured I would change his outfit so how has everybody been I'll talk more about the hair when I get to that I'm gonna dress him first and then I'll do the hair I love this cardigan on him too. Um, I know that the saran wrap's a little, I'll take it off for the video purposes, but um, I love this cardigan. It's a Jamie K cardigan, so <laughs> I do love it on him and I like this on him, but that's okay. <laughs> He's only had it on since last night. Since, like I said, I'm doing a video, I might as well go ahead and change him too. I'm going to turn this a little bit so it's back on him. So, um, what I'm going to put on him is this. Take the thing off of here. Tag is this Zara. Um,. It's just a little cloth sweatshirt. It does have buttons down the back. I'm probably not going to unbutton it though. Way I have these Kate Quinn booties that I thought closely matches. And then um, just a pair of Kate Quinn uh, oatmeal panda pants that I thought would um, complete that outfit. So that's what I'm going to put on him. So the big changes that I have made is I've actually sold off all my dolls, pretty much. And the only one that are left are Eli here and... Um, my Jax, which I've never done a video with him, I don't think. I may need to. Um, who He was painted by a friend a few years ago, a couple years ago. We did a trade, and I painted her a baby, and she painted me a baby. So, um, of course, Jax is still in my collection, you know? So, um, that's all I have. Everybody else has been sold, um, you know, it's kind of sad, you know, and I debated on him and stuff and I really don't want to sell him, but, um, what it is, is, uh, I don't know if I've ever talked about it here. I think I've mentioned it on my lives on YouTube, um, that I wanted to get a new baby bird a parrot a macaw what have you and they are pricey 
And I was going to paint, um, you know, and save and, and pay the baby off that way last year. Well, I never did really find one. So, um, the species that I wanted, personally. So, I ended up, um, finding one this year. Well, there's long tags in here. This is cut. So, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Um, So, uh, I found one, and I was like, to make it happen, you know, before they do sell, I'm gonna, and, and ended up, I was able to, um, you know, sell off my dolls to be able to bring this baby home, which is, I mean, I guess it's another baby, it's just a live baby, and it's an animal, and it's, you know, I gotta take care of it in different ways than the dolls, but, um, you know, it, it's just something that I, I had really wanted, I kept birds in the past, and I very much enjoy them, um, so... That is kind of like the big change here right now is that I did sell off pretty much. Now the thing went off. Um, sold off, you know, pretty much my entire collection to bring this baby bird home. So I got the cage and I got the, the baby bird paid for. So, um... You know, there's just a few incidentals that I still have to work on, which food, stuff like that. You just need money for, for the other stuff. So I'm trying not to sell this baby in order to finish paying for the rest of what I need. I've been selling off a lot of clothes. Um, so that's helped. And I also have two babies that are, I actually remember it's scissors. Let's kind of take tags off. Um, two babies that are, one's finished, I'm just waiting for glue to dry, so I can put him together, and then I have the other one, the reason why I put socks on too is, I was like looking, and they have a tag in there, um, with the dark printing that would set against his vinyl, and I just didn't want to risk the dye transfer, so... I just put that tag in or socks on him to to uh keep that from tag from laying on him even though his feet his feet toes curl up so they're a little bit harder to put these booties on I see um so yeah I have two babies that will be for sale the one like I said is going to be ready to put together and the other one is um almost finished painting he still needs a little bit of paint work done to him and then that baby will be ready so but that's exciting because like I don't have made a lot of babies you know that went up for sale so you know, that is kind of exciting. But I've sold a lot of Kate Quinn. And you know how I love Kate Quinn. But, you know, that's okay. You know, it's just clothes. I can always add more to my collection in the future if I choose to. I had lots. <laughs> I still have lots. All right, this guy is dressed. So here he is, all dressed. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about hair care. So, you know that I, like I said, I keep the babies on the saran wrap to keep even like 
him laying on without the saran wrap. You can see the hair, you know, messed up a little bit. But, okay, I use, and I don't use this often. I'm not going to use it on him because I did this when I finished him and his hair is still, like, it's soft and stuff. I really don't want to wet it down. Um, I mix some conditioner in with water in a spray bottle. So, um, a good quality conditioner is good to use. And I only put a little bit and then I fill the rest with water. Mix it up and I shake it every time I go. Then I spray the brush. Um, and work it through the hair. The biggest thing with rooted babies. And this, and I'm talking about nicely rooted um directionally rooted babies is you want to always brush in the um the way the hair is rooted so you really don't want to um brush any direction that it's not going um you just want to keep the hair going in the direction of the way it's rooted. And most times a baby that's rooted with a really good quality hair and is rooted really well and it's directional. I mean, that's pretty much what you have to do every once in a while is just mostly when you dress them and you mess up the hair just a touch. I mean, some, a lot of times, most times, you know, as long as they're on ceramic, all I got to do is take my hand, finger and just do this and then that's it. You know, rarely am I sitting here doing a whole lot of brushing. Um, because, I mean, really you don't want to have to sit and brush the hair a whole lot if you don't have to. And it just, you know, pretty much falls into place. So... That is, like I said, that's pretty much, like, what to do. Um, that's what to do for, like I said, babies that have a, a good head of hair on them. Um, it, you know, there are people out there that root very pluggy. They root, just put some hair on the head, um... They, I, I learned when I started, like, because I, I never, when I first started, I didn't directionally root. And, um, you know, the hair just kind of just laid out everywhere. It just never stayed. Um, but when I learned how to start directionally going in the head, the hair just falls and it lays as it lays on the rest of the hair under it you know every piece keeps the other down so if that makes sense so like I said like it just pretty much a finger I mean other than like if you're laying you're not laying on saran wrap you may need to brush out the back a little bit to to brush out the the kinks or the curls but other than that, like, that's pretty much all you do. <laughs> and you can condition every once in a while if you think that the hair needs some softening or um, a little bit of extra help laying, you know, laying down if it, if it needs the conditioner or the water. You can even use plain water. Um, so, like, if you want to do it more often or need to I would say only use the conditioner like maybe like once a month and use plain water for the rest of the time because you really don't need that much conditioner on the head you can and maybe possibly with too much conditioner can affect the paint underneath so you just really don't want to do that if you don't have to I said just every once in a while so I think that is about all I can talk about as far as hair care um 
I mean, like I said, I don't want to wet his hair down. That's why I didn't do that part. But it's really pretty simple. Brush it on, spray the brush. And not soak it, you know. Just spray some on the brush and brush it through the hair. You know, and what I do when I do do that, when I do put their hair is, like wet their hair. Because if you lay them down with this back of this hair wet, it'll um, curl, like it'll get like curly or like wave or whatever. So if you want to keep it straight, I always like put the babies and prop them like up. So the hair is not touching anything until it's dry. <laughs> so I will leave them like that for a while just to, um, you know, give them a chance to to dry up. So anyways, this is baby Eli. So you probably, if I'm going to be doing videos, are probably going to see him most. Maybe when I get a baby finished, I can do a video of that baby dressing it and everything. Somebody wanted to see a waiting video. Um, That's a little bit more like like in my space I don't have a lot like to bring the weight and stuff but I can definitely like pre-weight everything and then just kind of show how I put them in um but I think I did that once before but I can do that but I can definitely bring babies on as I get them finished and do a video of them dressing them and getting them ready for pictures that like I done that with Marley and I did put Jude together on camera one time um because honestly I don't know if I'm gonna be adding any more dolls to my collection for a little while I really just need to focus on the painting and selling part of it so I can bring the baby bird home which doesn't he has a little while left anyways he's not weaned so it will be a little bit before he does come home because he has to finish he's hand being hand fed and with birds that can take a little bit he'll be three months old at the beginning of February and it could be another four weeks or more even after that that he's um done I mean he's on two feedings now but sometimes that when you get down to that one feeding sometimes they don't want to let it go it's like a comfort thing to them so it could be a little bit I mean it could be two weeks it could be you know longer so we'll see when he's ready um hopefully it would be a little bit more on that four week mark so I can get a chance to get some toys made up and get my perches made and or perches in the cage and everything like that and get everything else ready for him. So, alright, I think I'm going to get off here. Uh, that was a little bit talking about the hair care. Area, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.